Hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon Gen 1 solo runs. This one is a cool one because I'm going to get to play as James from Team Rocket and I can't do his voice unfortunately, but yes, in this one I am going to be using Weezing. Uh, don't really matter what starter I pick, Weezing's not particularly, he's neutral against all of them. That'll give him Blastoise, yeah, that'll do. Cool, we have Weezing, turn that off. Alright, let's have a look at Weezing's opening stats. Defense, really good. Attack, yeah. Look, Weezing's not too bad. Oh, how long does it take him to level up? Okay, he's sort of like slow medium. So he gets Tackle, Smodge and Sludge. Sludge is his best move to start with by a long way. Uh, I can't remember exactly what Sludge's power is. I think it might be like base 65 or 70. But that's not too bad for a, um, definitely for a starting move. And Brock shouldn't be too difficult because Brock, um, I believe Sludge can also lower defense if I'm, if I remember it. Oh no, wait, that might be Acid. Um, never mind. Anyway, I don't think Brock's actually going to be that difficult because Weezing actually has pretty good defense. So let's see if my theory is correct. In terms of learn set, uh, Weezing, he doesn't get a hell of a lot, unfortunately. Although he, um, I believe he can learn Thunderbolt. If I remember correctly. So as we make our way up to through Viridian City up into Pewter. Weezing can't be poisoned. I mean, I haven't been picking up the antidotes anyway. Um, let's go for tackle against Weedle. As I... I will read out to you what Weezing's learn set is because it isn't great. So... Uh, Weezing Gen 1 learn set. Alright, too long. Sludge. Caterpie, sludge. Sweet. Even Sludge is better than Tackle. Sweet, down goes another Weedle. Oh, I didn't need to pick that up. I'm actually going to throw that away. Let's gather one more potion. Defeat another Weedle. So, Weezing's learn set. Um, Basically, the only other moves he's going to get uh, from level up are smoke screen, self destruct, haze, and explosion. So his level up moves are completely useless. He can learn thunderbolt. He can also learn fire blast. Uh, he can learn. Wow, that's actually he can learn mimic. That's literally it. He gets moves. He gets like hyper beam, toxic, rage, thunder, which I prefer thunderbolt. Double team, bide. Self-destruct is another TM. Rest, explosion, substitute. Yeah, he, he's got nothing. He is probably... In fact, with those moves, he's even going to struggle to get through Agatha. That's the main issue. I reckon I might even need to teach him Mimic. Which I don't use very often. Stat-wise, he's actually not too bad. So he's quite bulky. Um, let's... Attempt the rival, uh, Pidgey does outspeed us and it hits one sand attack, but we should be okay, and we are. Alright, level 9, let's get down to Pewter City and let's go in and face Brock. Uh, Brock, he... God, with Weezing's defense, he shouldn't be too bad, but it is also going to take a lot of hits to take down Brock's Pokemon, so... Good question, how will Weezing do against against old Brock. All right, let's let's jump in and defeat these two. Okay, Sludge does cause poison. I thought it did, but for some reason I thought it didn't. I think its likelihood for causing poison is actually lower than other moves. If not, it, at least it seems to be. So what are we, level 11? Let's give Brock an attempt. I don't mind losing at the start of the game. So Sludge. All right, there's Poison. At least one Smog. Not the most useful move, but Smog does also Poison quite often, so... 
if we can poison... Oh no, we're, we're done now. It looks like Weezing is going to need a bit more to get past Geodude and Onyx because we haven't even managed to defeat Geodude, even at level 11, so let's get him... I reckon let's get him to level 13 and then let's try Brock again. So the good thing is though, Weezing does have three offensive moves, so that means when we do need to level up like this, it doesn't take too long because he's not going to run out of PP, I'm not going to have to run back to the Pokemon Center. Alright, how much does he need? 347, that's not too bad. Especially when you can speed the game up at this, at this pace. Come on, give us Metapods. Give us those Metapods to get our, get our levels. The only thing was Smog, not the most accurate move. It's not base 100 accuracy, so I don't really want to have to use it. But we are literally stuck with these moves, probably until we get Thunderbolt from Surge. There's nothing else, literally. The only other move in TM that I would consider might be, like, Fire Blast. Although, to be level 13 and have 30 attack, 39 defense, that's and 30 special, that's actually really good. Not gonna lie, Weezing is actually... He's not bad, stat-wise. Even his HP's quite high. So it's not like he's a... You know, he's weak or anything, but... Alright, Geodude's now poisoned. I'm going to keep the rest of Sludge and just go for Tackle. Alright, let's go for a... Oh, I don't want Screech. Let's go for a Smog. We don't get a Poison. There's a Screech, Sludge. So we're not going to do anything to Onyx, unfortunately. Alright, there's our first Poison. Brock will go for a full heal. He's got five for his Onyx. Alright, Well, it's doing 1 HP anyway. Let's just go for Smog. Alright, we get... We get a Poison. There's a full heal. There's another Smog. The only thing is, is that um, Bide's gonna do... Probably gonna do a lot of damage to us. Oh no, that wasn't too bad. Although, we can only take two more Tackles. Alright, Weezing is either going to have to use items or he's going to have to level up. Because the only thing is, is that I can't um, use a move to get around Bide, if you know what I mean. So I can't use a defense curl or anything like that to, to bide my own time while Brock has that active. So unless I want to level Weezing up like a lot... I may have to go for the potions, which I've been doing more and more often lately. Otherwise, the game just kind of breaks. Because as soon as you get past Brock, you're just too strong. Alright, let's go again. Let's go with Sludge. Defense Call don't really don't really mean much. I'd... And because Weezing's quite slow, he's not very likely to get a critical hit either. This time, we've gone through all of the sludge. Bro! Bro, what's going... Ah, oh, no, okay, uh, I know what's happening now. Um, Geodude's used Defense Curl enough times that Smog... It's the way the damage calculation works. Smog is technically doing zero damage and the game gets confused, so Weezing has a 100% miss. That's what's happening. Oh, he gets a critical hit with Tackle. Um, I'm going to potion up Weezing. And in fact, we may not even... Uh, with five potions, we should be able to. We're not going to be able to poison Onyx, though. We're going to have to go for Tackle. Look at that, we're not too far away. 
just so I don't want to level up anymore and just completely ah oh, this isn't I hate winning like this but you you kind of have to and I'm still even with these potions I still may not even beat him There goes our last potion. We're stuck with tackle and oh, Weezing still only just did it. So that definitely would not have been a victory. I had to use five potions to get through that battle. Again, I hate beating Brock using potions, but I don't want to have to level Weezing up to like level 20. And then he's just going to slaughter everything in his path up until like maybe like mid game until he reaches Sabrina. Well. Well, it is what it is. We're through Brock. Brock's a pretty insignificant battle. I mean, he's got a Geodude and Onyx at level 12 and 14. So, that's not the end of the world getting through him a little bit cheap. Thing is, though, because Weezing is quite bulky, he should be able to get through Misty fairly easy. And he should be able to get through Surge quite easy as well, which will give him Thunderbolt. That's what... He can't learn Body Slam, he can't learn... I don't think he can even learn Takedown or Double Edge. Which is surprising, because usually most Pokemon... Yeah, it's not listed in his TMs. Which is very strange, because most Pokemon can at least learn Double Edge. Oops, wrong way. Obviously, he can't learn Mega Punch. Just like Dragonite. So, so far, I'm very impressed with his stats. I wouldn't use Weezing in a team of six anytime soon, given how poor that learn set is. But, yeah, no, he's, he's all right. Now, in, in the anime, I love James's like, he's like, he's evil guy laugh, he's, I love that, I love that laugh he does. James is always going to be like one of my favorite characters of all time. He's so, he's so delightfully innocent evil. Like he's, he's a bad guy, but he's not a bad guy. Like if that makes sense. All right, there's, oops. Ah, oh, Smog, Smog did it anyway. All right, that'll give us Farfetch'd. Pokemon Center, um, Rival or Misty. Um, I am going to opt to do Misty first, I think. Let's give her... We'll do this trainer. Yeah, I think Weezing will be fine. I wouldn't be surprised if he got a victory against... Although, if Starmie uses Bubble Beam, it'll do a lot of damage. But Misty's also got the tendency to go for X Defend as well. Alright, Star used down easy enough. Starmie goes for Tackle, that does almost nothing. X defend and why was Starmie only going for tackle? Well, very, very rare and kind of, kind of a letdown because I wanted to see how much a water gun or a, it probably only would have taken two bubble beams to knock me out. Weezing's, look, to be fair, Weezing's special is also actually really good. I didn't know Weezing's stats were this good. I have grown every Pokemon to level 100 on this game once before. I've got a video of that. But I did that quite a while ago. Alright, Rival is also a first try victory. That went further than I processed. That I went straight into autopilot mode there. To be fair, I thought Weezing was going to be a lot worse. I'm actually quite... I'm actually quite digging this one. I reckon he's doing pretty good. Alright, I'm going to save a, f a few sludge. Uh, actually, I might as well just use Sludge and just heal. So right now, he's only been knocked out against Brock, and that was once. Even though Brock's battle was cheap. You know, what relevance is he? Man can't even open his eyes. Sweet. Alright, let's get, grab an elixir from here. Weezing can't learn Seismic Toss either. It can learn Mimic. 
I might even grab that tan because I reckon I might need that for the Elite Four because Weezing is going to have a very hard time with Agatha. Or will he though? I can teach him Fire Blast. Even though Fire Blast is not the most accurate move in the world, it does hit most of the time. Alright, sludge everything out the way. Weezing, use your sludge attack. I wish I could do James's voice. I, I love his voice as well. He's he's just a perfect he's a perfect character in the game. Sweet, so perfect character in the show, I should say. Even we couldn't screw this one up, Jesse. You know that don't um isn't Brock and James the same voice actor as well? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure they are. Um, Seto Kaiba, I think, is Brock's voice actor as well, if I remember it correctly. Alright, let's discard these two trainers. Man, Weezing's... Weezing's a tank, man. He's... He's outspeeding stuff now as well. I wish he could learn Body Slam. It's strange that he can't learn Body Slam, because it's not like he's got a small body, but... Legitimately, I'll even pick up TM8. Can't learn Body Slam, which is such a shame because that'd be such a good move for him too. Sludge attack. Eradicate, down, Kadabra, down, War Turtle, down. If Kadabra used Confusion, that might have done a bit of damage, but... Sweet, let's get off this boat. And let's get rid of our crusty old Spiro for a far-fetched. Uh, I should, do I have any potions? No, I really should heal. I don't want Surge claiming a, a victory On me instead. Let's heal up. This will give Weezing Thunderbolt, so that's a good strong move and given that his special's not too bad as well. Trash bins, trash bins. Where it's the switch in the trash bins. Is it in that one that I missed down here? Okay. Ah, we don't get a first attempt. This is a broken puzzle. Yeah. -hee. Sweet. All right, Surge. He shouldn't win. X speed. That's fine. One shot on Voltorb. That'll be one shot on Pikachu as well. Oh, Weezing's been paralysed. Oh, and he one-shots Raichu with a sludge. Alright, we get the TM for Thunderbolt. And now that we have Thunderbolt, we also have a special move. We can do good damage against flying and water. It will make Gyarados easier later in the game. We're in... Weezing's in real good shape. Weezing can also learn Double Team, which, if you want to be really cheap, that can make him very difficult to hit. So, it says not very effective against these Grass types, but it's actually neutral. The game gets confused, it can't decipher that the Poison typing and the Grass typing cancel each other out. So, it just displays a not very effective. Gem 1 be like that. It is a bit of a, it is a, bit of a broken game. All right, just in case, let's deposit Farfetch'd. Cubone defensively is very strong and he's done a lot of damage to my Weezing. But there's only one Cubone to worry about, so.
kill. We do have a super potion, and the next mandatory trainer is that hiker, which obviously I can't go in to him with that little health. Huh, an onyx. I haven't done a run with him yet, and I'm not looking forward to. Alright, here we go. Here is the hiker, sludge. Sludge. Okay, we got down one of them. Ooh. Will we survive one if it uses a defense curl? There's a poison. Oh, probably won't survive it now. Oh, it's missing with rock throw. Ah, oh, this is come on, no tackle. We only probably need to hit one tackle, and oh my goodness, what are the odds of that? He's Graveler just did not want to, did not want to throw the match. It probably would have knocked me out if it did use it. So I was lucky, but no, I'll, ta I'll take it. All right, Weezing is through Rock Tunnel. All right, this the rival battle should actually be quite easy. I mean, he does have an Alakazam. Well, not in this battle, he's still got a Kadabra, but he will have an Alakazam soon. And if that outspeeds me and uses... In fact, it may have even been better to get the starter to be Venusaur. But then again, Venusaur can't do any damage to Wartortle, so... Again, it still doesn't really matter. Sludge on Growlithe, Sludge on Vulpix. Ah, oh, well, to be honest, um, Weezing can learn Fire Blast anyway, so I could have used that against Venusaur as well. It's a shame he can't learn, like, Ice Beam or just something peculiar like that as well. Alright, through the underground. And what are we aiming for first? Let's, yeah, let's defeat... I think I'll... Ah, uh, Farfetch. I think I'll go for Giovanni first over Erica. Well, then again, will Erica actually use any of her offensive moves against me? Well, let's start with Fly. And then head in here and get ourselves the bottle of water. Wait, my bag's not full, is it? No. Okay, let's... Uh, yeah, I think actually I might go to Erica now because Erica shouldn't be able to really do much to me. Because her Pokemon only really have Grass-type... Oops. Only have Grass-type moves. So this should actually be a fairly easy battle. It might put me to sleep a couple of times, but... It's a ludge attack. Sweet. Alright, here we go. Okay, we outspeed Victory Bell. Damn, Weezy, you're fast. Alright, Tangler is almost a one shot. And Vile Plume, Sludge, Petal Dance, that won't do enough damage. Nice, first time victory for Weezing against Erica. Unfortunately, he also. If he could learn Mega Drain, that'd be mad if he could learn Mega Drain. I mean, if Weezing had a good learn set, given that level 31, given his stats, which are massive, if he could have a good learn set, he would be absolutely a contender for a team of six. Thunderbolts. Ha, huh, you have to walk around me. <laughs> Well, nothing suspicious going on down here. Just Professor Oak's secret lab. 
in the secret basement. Wait. Let's. Ooh, we're coughing. Even the coughing don't stand a chance because we have Thunderbolt. I don't think Koga will be much of a challenge either. As long as our wheezing is stronger than his wheezing, our wheezing should win. As long as we're high level, I mean. Ah. Well, that just ruined the whole run. I went the wrong. Ah. What am I doing? Well, unfortunately, that puts a very, very slight inconvenience on the run. Never mind. Okay, sludge, sludge, sludge. Ground types are being a bit of a problem. I reckon Giovanni's final battle might actually be a little bit tough. Oh, that you sand attack the cheap. Oh, you. Ah, oh, poison. Nicely done, wheezing. And I can't hit it. I'm just lucky to. I do have a full restore. I might just use that. God, I hate these. Sand shoe. Get out of here. Arbok. Okay, Giovanni. Mm. Definitely. Um, I probably should have just went and healed instead of using that full restore. Ah, these Team Rocket members, I forgot. I haven't battled them for a long, long time. But I'm going to have to heal. I need my Sludge PP for Onyx and Rhyhorn. Because unfortunately, Weezing just does not have anything else. And Kangaskhan won't be a problem. Well, at least now I can just come through here, can't I, to get back to the elevator. Alright, Sludge on Onyx. Oh, first try Poison. Very nice. That's exactly what we needed. Rhyhorn. Poison would be nice, but not necessary. Oh, we got it on the last. Goodbye, Kangaskhan. All right. Grab that Sylph Scope and let's... All right, that's everything here done. Let's back to Lavender and go through Pokemon Tower, which shouldn't be too difficult. We've got Thunderbolt, at least. And we can pick up two more elixir in here too. Ghastly. I and mean, Ghastly, I did a run with, I did Gengar's run very early, so he actually, his time was over an hour. Gengar shouldn't take over an hour. If I did all those real early ones, that were like really good, like Starmie and Gengar. If I did all them today, that'd probably get under 50 minutes. And I just got paralyzed, didn't I? I mean, I don't really want to do them again. When you run this game so many times, oh, then again, doing it with one of them would be all right. Gengar or a Starmie, one of those early ones I did. Sweet, all right. All right, Ghost Marowak, which we need to be careful with because we're not doing a lot. Oh, there's a critical hit. Oh, Marowak, it could have. If it hit another Bone Club, it would have knocked us out. So Weezing is exceptionally bad against ground types in this gen because he's got nothing to damage them. And all those ground types are actually pretty decent defensively. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt everything in your path, Weezing. Sweet. Fuji. Okay, we can go down Cycling Road. We can go to Saffron. Um, there is a rival battle in here. We can also knock off Karate Master, which I think I'll do now. 
get rid of some Mankey and some Primeape. And I mean, fighting moves aren't very effective against poison, so this won't be very difficult. All right, what first? Well, Weezing is weak against Sabrina. I may, I think I will actually go to Koga first. can't tell me what to do. I'll just take a bike and go down one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, of course. And it's a Spearow, which just makes it all the, all the worse. And a rare candy. Okay. Quick annoyance. Let's go through Safari Zone. Man, Weezing hasn't been knocked out since Brock. And we're about to go to Koga. That's quite incredible, to be honest. I never thought Weezing would be this good. I've actually been putting him off because I didn't think he would be any good. I'm very, very surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Because a lot of the runs that I have left... I still have Golbat. I don't think... Golbat's fast, but again, in this gen, he doesn't really get any moves that are really that strong. Cool, we get HM3. Let's get out of here. And let's go battle Koga. I know you don't like being in the box, Ducks, but too bad. You're not getting me a cheap victory. Down goes Drowsy. Nice. Did that Kadabra outspeed me? Man, those stats are brutal. Look at his defense. He's actually really good. Wheezing. Oh, wow. Okay, second loss. That must have been a crit, because that shouldn't have done that much damage. Ha, <laughs> he withdrew. Went for Hypno. Disable. Sludge. And that time we do it full health. Which completely sums up Gem 1 in a nutshell. Alright, Koga. Um, we're going to have to go for Thun... Oh, one shot, Muck. Oh, you're going to keep using double team, aren't you? Tackle's not a tackle's less likely to hit. There we go. All right, don't want smoke screen. Thunderbolt, coughing, two shots, wheezing, critical hit, self destruct. Not even a problem. Look at that. My wheezing was level 39, yours was 43, and mine won. Alright, we only have. Supreme. Well, we can go to um. After we get Lapras, we can go and do Blaine before Sabrina if we need to. Because after all, um, Sabrina is probably going to wipe the floor with coughing. At least at this level, she would. Nice. Grimer, Thunderbolt, March Up, Sludge, sweet. Alright, rival battle. And I don't think you'll be that difficult. Uh, Thunderbolt and Pidgeot, sweet. Growlithe, Thunderbolt. Oh, I got burned. Sludge, Sludge, Sludge. Alakazam, you're the You're the tough one. Okay, what do we want to do? Do we wanna well, I can keep battling him, even if I lose a few times. That's not too bad. Quit messing with this kid. Alright, Pidgeot, Thunderbolt. Okay, that's... Oh, he's used Sand Attack. You piece of dirt. 
Oh, Weezing outsped Alakazam and a one shot. Get out of here, Blastoise. Yes. Oh, what a what a victory. Maybe I really should have put Venusaur as the starter, but I don't care. Um. Ah, oh, this guy's got Cubone and a Marowak, which actually could win. Sludge attack. Ah. Uh, Wow. Wow, the AI on this game really is stupid sometimes. I'm not gonna lie, it's like comedically stupid. Alright, well, Giovanni shouldn't be too difficult. Shouldn't be too hard. Sludge won't do much against them, but self-destruct's no good. Kangaskhan, sludge, sludge, sludge. Rhyhorn, sludge, sludge. I really need a poison. Nice. Neo Queen, sludge. Oh wow, well, that did nothing. I can't use Thunderbolt because it's not effective. Oh, look how little damage it's doing. I don't have anything left. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I win. <laughs> I just had to spam tackle and hope for the best. The thing is, like, Nido Queen, his Nido Queen doesn't have very good moves. Nido Queen can learn, like, Surf, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam. You name it, like, Nido Queen can learn it. Earthquake as well. Like, man, even Nido Queen should have better moves. Alright, I do still need to give Gold Teeth to Warden, and I'll do that now because I will forget and end up halfway down Victory Road. Leprous. No surfing on that with here. Alright. To pallet. Alright, we are the same level as Koga's Weezing now. Uh, max Repel. I, my bag is full. Nugget. Dig. Body Slam. Uh, Mega Drain. Toxic. Da -na 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 -na. Baby, can't you see? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know what? I'm old enough. I remember when that song first came out. I remember when Oops, I Did It Again came out too. I'm also old enough that I know that I was a kid when Hit Me Baby One More Time came out. It was all over in um, in Australia at the time. On Channel 10, you used to get this show called Video Hits, and it used to be like music videos of like contemporary pop songs on top of the charts. And Hit Me Baby One More Time was, um, man, that was at the peak. I mean, that was on the top of that chart for a long, it was getting played for like a long time. There are two, the big retro 90s sort of purple and blue logo, the VH1 would float in and go, video hits. With that like. So the way it works, TV for advertisements back then, they used to have like a voicing. And it used to be the same voice. It's kind of like the radio, they call it a station voice. Did I? What am I doing? I'm losing my train of thought because I'm reminiscing on really, really old TV shows that don't exist on that channel anymore. Video Hits has its own standalone channel on. In Australia, we have Foxtel. It's kind of like what cable TV is in America. Um, 
Only old people have it now and it's extremely overpriced. All right, here we go against Blaine. Let's go for Sludge. Ponyta, let's go for Sludge. Rapidus, let's Rapid Dash. Let's go for Sludge, Sludge, Sludge. Arcanine, let's go for Sludge. Wow, that did not do a lot of damage. Uh, let's go for Thunderbolt. Well, so that's how it's going to be, huh? That's how it's going to be. Don't need to use Super Potion against level... Oh, I'm on the way back in Saffron. Don't need to use potions against weak Pokemon, Blaine. For that, for that, I'm going to beat up one of your trainers. Yeah, take that. I knocked out one of your trainers, one of your lackeys, Rapidash, Blaine. What are you going to do about it? Growlithe. Ponyta. Level 45. Fire speed. Ah, you miss me. And it's deserved. Power whip. Alright, Arcanine. We're now evenly leveled, and I'm going to go for Thunderbolt. Oh, that wasn't very nice. Use Fire Blast. I'm oh, we must be speed tied. Recoil. Thunderbolt. F oh, you're cheap. You're. Oh, I really should have put them in the box. Oh, I really should put them in the box. Because I don't want to go looking for that rebattle gym leader code again and get it working. It's, uh, it's more trouble than it's worth. All right, Blaine. Sludge. All right, Ponyta. Sludge. Sludge. Sludge attack. Oh, I hate that Arcanine. Oh. Arcanine's run. Arcanine was really good until he hit the Elite Four. Um, have I done Rapidash? Yeah, surely I would have done Rapidash. I don't remember Rapidash's run. Like, oh, okay, this is getting irritating. I don't remember Rapidash's run at all. I know it doesn't learn Flamethrower, which is, you know, I'm going to beat up some of his trainers to... Yeah, see that, Blaine? See, look at this. Look at all your, this is all your fault, Blaine. You could you could have just lost, but no, you had to go and use Fire Blast on me, so guess what? Your trainers are going to be the one that take the hit for it. Look at that, Blaine. I'm now level 47, and I'm going to go heal, and then I'll come back. I'm kind of getting the urge to play Emerald, not going to lie. All right, Blaine. Sludge attack on your Growlithe. Sludge attack on your Ponyta. Oh, you lowered my attack. Thunderbolt then on your Rapidash and Thunderbolt on your Arcanine. Keep using Fire Blast. Stop. Oh, you burned me. Get a critical hit or something, Weezing. Yes! Yeah, boy! That's what we're talking about, Weezing. And for... One of the very only times I'm actually going to teach Fire Blast because I've still got Tackle. I mean, I still have all three of the moves I'd had, all three of the moves that he started with. Because Weezing doesn't learn anything. Oh, Sabrina. I don't think this battle is going to go very well. I think Weezing is in for... I think he's in for a bit of a tough time. But if he can outspeed and hit Sludge, he should knock them out in one hit because defensively, they're not very... They're not very strong defensively. Even Sludge will be... Wow, Venomoth survived it. Do we outspeed Alakazam? We don't, but it's gone for Reflect. Now it's poisoned. And it went for Reflect again. There we go. Oh! Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. That could get knocked out by poison. Don't you... Oh, don't you dare you side wave. Oh! Idiot! Well, I guess I'm going to have to go look for that code anyway. Oh, one second. Let me activate it. Okay. 
I am so mad now. Oh, I hope this code works because it's such a flaky code. Ah, no, 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 wrong way, wrong way. Okay, does it work? Yes, okay. Now let's deactivate that before it causes anything else to happen. Oh, I am so mad right now. Sludge. Sludge. Sludge attack. I could have gone for Fire Blast there too. Why couldn't you have used Psy Wave against Wheezy? Oh, it's gone for Reflect again. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Serves you right, you mustache, spoon bending, pentagon headed. Deserved. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, how do you even find your way out of here? Alright. Well, that was extremely inconvenient. Alright, Viridian City. There. The last one is Giovanni himself, which is probably going to be a bit challenging. Uh, I do have Fire Blast now at least, so... Level 50. For level 50, those stats, man. Like... Hey, like... Respect, bro. Like, he's strong. Alrighty. Let's get in and battle Giovanni. Alright, Fire Blast on Rhyhorn. Okay, obviously Fire Blast does have a tendency to miss. Alright, Doug Trio, that's probably going to outspeed us. That's going to use Dig as well. That's going to do quite a bit. Oh, it got a critical hit as well. I, I'm not going to sit here and get pasted by a dog trio. Did I forget to pick one up? I must have. Because I only have seven. Usually I have eight here. Wait, don't I usually have nine by now? No, oh, it doesn't matter. I've probably forgotten to pick one up somewhere. Seven's enough. Alright, Fire Blast. Nearly a one shot. We just need to outspeed and knock out Doug Trio in one hit, which we don't. Alright, dig. That only. That didn't do too much. Alright, Fire Blast on Nido Green. Sludge and Sludge. Nice. Very nice on Nido King, although that's still done a lot of damage. Rhydon's probably only going to go for Fissure. There's a burn. Sweet. And because we're faster, right on can't hit Fissure. Okay, rival battle. Rival should be fine. As long as we outspeed Alakazam, rival should be fine. So I no longer know how, because I've had to pause my video, activate a code my timer. I think Weezing's around like 40 minutes or something right now. Or 45 minutes or something. Growlithe, Execute, Sludge, Alakazam. Wow, that outspeeds. Oh! I don't like you. I like you when you're on my team. But Alakazam is too broken in Gem 1, dude. Like, it's so, so powerful. Pidgeot, Rhyhorn, Growlithe, Execute. Okay, we outspeed that time. It must be a speed tie. Nice, critical hit. Get Blastoise out of here. Okay. 
We only have the Elite Four remaining. So let's get up there. Volcano Beds, why couldn't they have just made one gate? Still, I always liked walking up here as a kid, knowing that I had completed my my badge hunt. Nice, nice. Yes, I know there is another rare candy there, but at level 59, Weezing, he's had enough. He can, he can get it done on his own. And look, to be fair, man, Weezing's, he's been really good. Really, really good. The tail is a thick, oh, I'm not gonna sit here and get Counters. I want to get out of this cave. Lapras. Sweet. All right. Elite four. Let's get it on. Let's get ducks and Lapras in the box. Let's dosh out and spend what money remains. We had so much more. Get rid of that. Get rid of what I've... To oh yeah, because I had to code her and battle her again. Alright, Weezy. Now's your time. Thunderbolt. Rest. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Nice. Thunderbolt gets rid of Cloyster and Slowbro. Let's use Sludge on Jinx, which outspeeds. Jinx is pretty quick, though. Um, Thunderbolt on Lapras. Confuse Ray. Nicely done, Weezing. Bruno. Fire Blast on your Onyx. Hitmonchan, Sludge. Sludge. Oh, that could have gone for Counter and done quite a bit of damage there. Man, what's him on these problem? Why did he decide to do so much damage? All right, Machamp, I'm gonna use Fire Blast because I'm low on health. X Defend, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt, nicely done, Weezing. All right, Agatha, she's a tougher one. All right, Golbat just got cooked. Wow, Golbat survived that as well. We don't outspeed Gengar. And we're not doing enough to Gengar. And I've run out of Thunderbolt. Sludge attack. Three meters fine. Sludge attack. Ah, uh, yeah. oh, no, don't withdraw it now. That damn... Dagatha, what are you doing? She's almost going to have her first Gengar knocked out last. Oh, I've only got Sludge. Oh, no. I can't win. I've only got tackle. Okay, what do we do? I am, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna get mimic. Ducks, Lapras. Oh, well, I don't need Lapras, but he might as well come for the fly. Screw it. I'm getting mimic. Nave. Uh, po polka doll. Meh. Okay. Uh, saffron. Nope. That's where her house is in Gen 2. Uh, yeah. Mimic. Get rid of Tackle. That way if I do run out of PP again, which I probably will, not to Agatha. That's the disadvantage of Fire Blast as well. I can go around and pick up some PP up, but 
and I don't want to. All right, Lorelei, Thunderbolt, 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 nice, Thunderbolt, nice, sweet, little ledge. You got beaten. All right, Bruno. Sludge does not do enough. Um, Fireblast. Monchan, I'm going to mimic Ice Punch just for fun. Ice Punch. <laughs> ice Punch. I have Ice Punch. Ice Punch. <laughs> I only have one Mimic PP left now as well. I am going to... Yeah. Oh, you missed. Give me Nightshade. I want Fire Blast on your... Stop it! Don't confuse me. That's not very nice. That's not very nice, Golbat. Oh, I hate your Gengar. <laughs> oh, I thought you'd do that. Get rid of your Haunter. Dream Eater. Fire Blast hits. Let's go for Thunderbolt. I really wish he would keep the same Pokemon in. I have no Nightshade. That probably wasn't the best idea. Dream Eater's fine. Fire Blast and a burn! Oh, and a burn. I didn't even get to use Nightshade because I only had one PP on... Oh, on Mimic. I went and got Mimic and I couldn't even use it. Now I'm in trouble. Because he has Nightshade. And I'm confused. Toxic. Toxic's not going to work. Burn. Sludge. <laughs> I win. Take that, you old bat. Okay, I'm... I've got no choice. I have to use an elixir. Otherwise, I can't get any further. You know, your Gyarados ain't so mythical now, is it? Sludge. That can only go for agility, too. Um, gem 1. Psychic move. I'm poison type. Good AI. Quotation mark. Good AI. Um, Thunderbolt on Aerodactyl. Thunderbolt on Aerodactyl, Thunderbolt on Aerodactyl, finally. I'm confused, but that can only go for agility or barrier. Sludge. Uh, sludge. Hehehehe, <laughs> I win. I win, I'm level 64 and I am up to the rival. Full health. He's got enough. Now the only Pokemon I'm really concerned about is Alakazam. I don't like your Pidgeot. Alakazam, so I don't like you. Oh, Weezing survived. Do we one shot? No, we do get a poison. And it's gone for Reflect. It went for Reflect. It wanted to gain armor. I gear um, Fire Blast. Tail whip. Tail wait, you gonna shake your tail? Oh, don't use fury attack. Boo. Alright. I think Weezing will have to be a little it has to one shot Alakazam and not get hit by it. Like otherwise it's never gonna win. Because that psychic attack I wasted a few moves there. Let's use sludge on Lapras instead. Ooh, I took a bit of damage, but that's okay. I can disperse my PP a little bit better. Fire Blast on Onyx, Sludge on Hitmonchan, Sludge on Hitmonlee, Fire Blast Onyx, nice. Oops, didn't mean to go for that. Nightshade, Thunderbolt. Okay, not gonna swap Gengar out five times this, this round, okay. Not nice, although she put me to sleep and then sent in Arbok, which is probably best thing for me, because if that used Dream Eater, I would have lost a ton of health. In fact, it probably would have knocked me out. Don't be so mean. Burn! 
Burn, that'll reduce speed. I should outspeed Gengar. Oh, don't use a super potion. Use a real potion. How's it still outspeeding me if it's burned? That's rubbish. That Gengar does not outspeed. That should not be outspeeding me if it's burnt. That's that's rubbish. Alright. Thunderbolt, almost a one-shot. Sludge. Sludge. Alright, Thunderbolt. I might even just use Sludge and Slow Boil as well. Uh, sludge. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, very nice. Bruno. Fire Blast on your Onyx. Thunderbolt on your Hitmonchan and your Hitmon Lee. Fire Blast, Fire Blast, and Sludge. Well, we get through Bruno and Agatha, uh, Bruno and Lorelei pretty consistently, which is good. No, not going to use, not going to swap out this time. Bloody Gengar of yours. Thunderbolt. Sludge should be fine against Slowbro, because Slowbro doesn't really have anything. Sweet. Level 69. I was thinking about level 70 for wheezing. Oh, look at that. What a goat. He's actually nowhere near the goat, but... Alright, Thunderbolt. Oh, critical hit. Dream Eater. Well done. Get rid of Golbat. Two on Haunter. Let's use... F oh, probably didn't need to use Fire Blast on Arbok, but anyway. Uh, Thunderbolt Gengar Toxic, that's fine. Ah, oh, brilliant. We're back at Lance. How much PP do we have? Technically, that should be all we need. Because we need Thunderbolt for Gyarados. Dragonair can't do anything to me. Aerodactyl is down. And Dragonite can't do anything to me. Hehehe. <laughs> uh, almost needed to use Mimic, but okay. Well, I can't use Mimic against Alakazam and get Psychic because I'd get fried. So we're kind of stuck with what we have. Alright, Thunderbolt on we on Pidgeot. We should outspeed Alakazam now. Are you kidding me? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. That is absolute garbage. Like, that is actually disrespectful. I have just completely wasted an elixir. How the hell is Weezing not outspeeding Alakazam right now? How much speed does that Alakazam have? That was stupid. I'm not even going to bother to heal. Thunderbolt, get, uh, get out of here, you, you freaking Gengar of yours. Ridiculous. Alright, look at this. Thunderbolt's all a one-shot on these. Sludge is a, almost a two-shot on Slowbro. Alright, this should be over any minute, surely. Fire Blast on your Onyx, which is also now a one-shot. Get rid of Hitmonchan. If I use Counter, that would have actually knocked me out. Sludge on your Machamp. It should just all be academic now. Get rid of Golbat. Two on Haunter. Get rid of Arbok. Fire Blast on Gengar. And Burned. Oops. Thunderbolt. Sludge, Sludge, Sludge. Sludge Attack. All right, easy win on Lance. Level 75, and it really shouldn't... If it wasn't for Alakazam, this would be over already.
Pidgeot should be a one shot now. And it is. Alakazam. You gotta be kidding me! Will we one shot it? It's gonna take a few hits now to get right on out because of we've had a special drop from that psychic. I'm gonna go for sludge against Arcanine. Sludge against Exeggutor. You just wait till I rip that coconut straight out of your trunk. I can't believe we still don't outspeed that Alakazam. That Alakazam is the only thing that's stopping Weezing from winning the Elite Four. It has to be faster, like, at this level, surely. Level 77, surely it's faster now, it has to be. You know, Weezing's not going to win any 100 meter sprints any day, but at this level, Weezing should have it now, right? Got no Thunderbolt. Even not having any Thunderbolt, it still even shouldn't, shouldn't even matter. Level 78, surely, surely we're faster than the Alakazam now. We have to be, because it's my last elixir. I thought it would have won it by now. Oh, finally we outspeed Alakazam and look at that, it's a one shot. Oh, don't go playing around, just, just hit it. Nice, sludge, two shot, Exeggutor, nice, just get it out of here. Thunderbolt that Blastoise, get it out of here. Nicely done, Weezing. Look, Weezing, he was great. I expected Weezing to be a lot worse. The only real hiccup was the Elite Four. It wasn't for that stupid Agatha. And that's, it was really just the Alakazam that was the problem. Level 79, have a look at those stats. That's gonna be near 300 defense. Even the special and the attack, they're gonna be up around 220, 230. He's a bit slow, but he has to have some sort of endurance. Weezing was fantastic. His learn sets, uh, it's passable. It does the job, but not very well. Um, look, I thought Weezing actually did really good. He did a lot better than some Pokemon that I've had, that's for sure. Well, I hope you enjoyed Weezing's run. I actually quite enjoyed that one for a change. Um, wherever you are in the world, stay safe, keep well. I will be doing these daily until I've basically finished them. So, well, take care, farewell.